So, on 11 August, Samsung has walked onto the stage at its fourth Galaxy Unpack event of the year to unveil four new products under its Galaxy banner. Two of them were foldable devices, including the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and the Galaxy Z Flip 3. In case you guys missed the launch, here are some key takeaways about these new Samsung foldables. <laughs> First off, there seems to be an increased focus on durability. Samsung boldly claim that the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and the Z Flip 3 are the first water-resistant foldable devices in the market. This is because both of them are IPX8 rated devices, which means they should be able to withstand occasional water splashes without any problem. By the way, the X in the IPX8 rating means that the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and the Z Flip 3 are not dust resistant. Thought we should point that out too. Aside from being IPX8 rated devices, Samsung also said that both foldables come with armor aluminum frame, which the company claimed as the strongest aluminum frame that it has fitted into a Galaxy smartphone. At the same time, the exterior part of both devices is also protected by Corning Gorilla Glass Victus. Furthermore, Samsung also claimed that their main screen is 80% more durable than their predecessors. Well, all these claims sound really good on paper, so we are definitely looking forward to see Galaxy Z Fold 3 and the Z Flip 3 to prove themselves in real life once they make their way into our market soon. Another big announcement from the Galaxy Unpack event on 11 August is that the S Pen support on the Galaxy Z Fold 3. What used to be the defining trait of the Galaxy Note series, the Galaxy Z Fold 3 is the second Galaxy smartphone outside of the Galaxy Note series to come with S Pen support. That being said, this doesn't mean you can take the existing S Pen and just start using it on the new Galaxy Z Fold 3. While those older S Pen may still work with the new Galaxy Z Fold 3, their tips could actually damage the phone screen, which is much more delicate than a normal screen on other smartphones. As a comparison, the S Pen Fold Edition and S Pen Pro not only come with a softer and rounder tip, but they also have built-in mechanism that would retract the tip if you push them with sufficient pressure. This is to avoid the screen on Galaxy Z Fold 3 from being punctured by either S Pen. While we do need to test it in real life before we can come up with any verdict regarding the S Pen experience on the new Galaxy Z Fold 3, I would like to highlight the Microsoft Teams integration that Samsung showed during the Galaxy Unpack event, which actually looked pretty impressive. In addition to that, the behind-the-scenes story of the Galaxy Z Fold 3 S Pen development, which involved collaboration with Wacom, is quite interesting to see as well. So, if you have the time, I do suggest you to check them out on Samsung's YouTube channel. Moving on, while I don't see any major changes in terms of form factor when you compare the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and Z Flip 3 to their predecessors, Samsung did say that these new foldables are much slimmer, although it's really hard to tell from the official product images and videos. On another hand, the Galaxy Z Flip 3 does feature a different exterior design as compared to the original Z Flip. Instead of having single tone color with mirror finish, Samsung has chose for a matte finish instead. With the addition of a glossy black portion that surrounds the phone cover screen and dual rail cameras. While beauty is in the eyes of the beholder, to me, the new design provides a rather eye-catching contrast, which makes things a little bit more interesting. Not to forget, the larger cover screen surely make it way more useful than before. Well, that's all for now. Everything that we have pointed here is just a tiny portion of so many things that Samsung has showcased at the Galaxy Unpack event on 11 August. For further details, do check out Samsung Malaysia's website at www.samsung.com my, especially if you want to learn more about the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and the Z Flip 3. Of course, let's not forget there are also the new Galaxy Watch 4 series and Galaxy Buds 2, which you can check out at Samsung Malaysia's website as well. To make things easier, you can go to the site directly via the link in the description below. Also, do stay tuned to Samsung Malaysia's social media channels for more exciting updates. As always, do give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so that you will not miss our videos. At the same time, 
please stay safe, stay healthy, and be well. This is Chief Chapri signing off.